10, 9. Communication for us is critical. This is definitely a team effort, and it must be. Four. If they're not working together and they don't trust each other to perform, it's not going to happen. One. Fire. People ask me, which way is the building going to fall? Down. It's the only way we can make it fall. I'm Mark Loazzo. I'm president of Controlled Demolition. And I'm Doug Loazzo. I'm vice president of Controlled Demolition. Uh, my name is Tom Dowd. I've been working with CBI now for about 10 years. My name is Stacy Loazzo. I'm the third generation of the Loazzo family in Controlled Demolition Incorporated. We're a demolition contracting firm that travels internationally, specializing in the explosives demolition of structures. And uh, we are here in Omaha, Nebraska to take down the Medical Arts Building. <music> Controlled Demolition, or CDI as we're better known as, uh, was really the pioneer in taking structures down with explosives all over the world. Our company probably does about 70% of the explosives demolition that's done internationally, and we've been in business for 50 years. Virtually everything that man has put together that stands vertical to the ground, we can bring down one way or the other. Uh, my dad really started it. My father, Jack, who is uh, retired now, uh, he was a graduate forester and started by using explosives in his tree business, taking out stumps, blasting rocks, etc. One day somebody came and said, hey, can you fell a chimney? And he said, well, it's the same principle as felling a tree. You notch it in the direction of fall, and the chimney or the tree will fall exactly where you want. The Medical Arts Building was built in the 20s. Um, this whole city block is being destroyed to make room for a new bank building. One of the reasons that this is an interesting project is the height of the building and the exposure to adjacent properties, which could be damaged. With explosives demolition, you can come in and prepare the structure in a week or two, cordon off an area for maybe an hour before the demolition, implode the structure, clean up the dust, and everything's back to normal in a matter of hours. We have excavated a pit over here for the building to actually fall into. When we actually load the explosives and wire, we're going to force the building to fall in this direction and land where we want it to. By beginning the, the explosives detonation at this point and this point in the structure, we're knocking its knees out from under it. What that's gonna do is progressively work back through the building, and that's gonna force a cantilevered action like this, which is going to help the building walk out into this pit and hopefully uh, break up the debris into, into manageable pieces for our client. We have some charges that will cut the column through on an angle, and we will also cut the splice plate itself. So what happens as the building falls when it hits, the whole section of the column will flip out and will allow more vertical movement of the building. A lot of people look at an implosion and that's all they see is the building coming down. But it really is the coordination between the prime contractor, the property owner, all the municipalities, the police, the fire department. And again, it's, we're lucky we've been doing this long enough that we can kind of tell people and guide them through it and say this is where you need to be, this is what you want to do. And we're all friendly about it. Communication in this industry is absolutely key. It's a